Melon Production. Lesson 21.2, the vascular system. The vascular system. Plants deliver fluid-borne nutrients to cells and carry waste. Two types of vascular tissue, xylem and phloem. Give vascular plants the ability to distribute water, minerals, and the carbohydrates they produce themselves through the plant. Xylem. Conveys water and dissolved minerals move up from the roots to the rest of the plant. One type of specialized cell in the xylem is called a tracheid. Columns of long, tapered cells that overlap one another. Water moves through the tracheid system through perforations that connect neighboring cells. Vessel element cells from the walls of the pipe-like structure through which fluid moves. Hollow vessel is formed, linking in cell walls strong and impermeable to water. Transpiration. Water evaporates constantly from leaves. Cohesion. Tendency of water molecules to stick together through hydrogen bonds. Adhesion. Tendency for water to stick to other substances. Cohesion tendency theory, proposed by Irish plant physiologist Henry H. Dixon and John Jolly, proposes that physical properties of water allow the rise of water through plants to explain xylem transport. In flowering plants, water and minerals flow through hollow vessels from a plant's roots to its leaves. The physical properties of water molecules and the evaporative power of the sun drives this process. Phloem takes up carbohydrates produced by photosynthesis in leaves and delivers it throughout the plant. CF tube elements, living cells that are linked end to end to form channels, pierced with holes that allow free passage of fluid and nutrients. Maturing CF tube, cytoplasm get pushed to sides of the cell and the nuclei and most other organelles disappear, but the cell membrane remains intact. Hollowed out cells conduct water and nutrients efficiently, but can carry out metabolic activities. Companion cells provide CF tube elements with the proteins for ATP that are necessary for the maintenance of living cells. Pressure flow model. Well-supported theory that explains how food or sap moves through a plant. A sink is a part of the plant, using and storing the sugar such as growing roots and stems, a fruit, or even the storage roots that will be a sugar source later in the season. Lesson 21.3, Roots and Stems. Roots and Stems. Roots anchor plants and absorb mineral nutrients from the soil. Stems support plants, transport materials, and provide storage. Parts of a root. Vascular cylinder made of xylem and phloem tissues surrounded by ground tissue covered by dermal tissue center of root. Root hairs. Find way through spaces between soil particles, greatly adding to the surface area available to take up water. Root scan. Small cone of cells protects growing parts of root as it pushes through the soil, covering tip of root. Parts of a root. Mary stem. Groups of cells that are the source of new cells form tissue. Apical meristems, areas of growth that lengthen the tips of roots and stems. Lateral meristems, found all along woody roots and stems, increase the thickness of these plant parts. Types of roots, fiber systems, make fine branches, most of the roots are the same size, spread like a mat beneath the soil surface, firmly anchor the plant to the ground. Tap root systems, long, thick, vertical root with smaller branches, allow plants to get water from deep in the ground, can store food sometimes. Water and mineral uptake. Mineral nutrients dissolve in soil water as ions. Use energy to transport nutrient ions to the roots through the active transport. Increased concentration of ion causes water to move onto the root tip by osmosis. Need large or little amounts and mostly serve to catalyze reactions. Stems. Support flowers and leaves, giving better access to pollinators and sunlight. House majority of vascular system can store food and water. Herbaceous, produce little or no wood, conduct photosynthesis, woody, zygote, hardwood, and sapwood. Stem growth, Mary stems divide to create more cells. Some remain Mary stem while others specialize and become part of the organs or tissue. Primary growth, 
increases plant length, takes place in apical meristem. Secondary growth adds to width in stems and roots of woody plants, takes place in lateral meristem. Tree rings form due to uneven growth over the seasons. Plenty water. New xylem cells are white and have thin walls, light color. Scarf water. Xylem cells become small and have thicker walls, dark in color. Age and climate can be determined with tree rings. One ring represents one year. Cells bands are both larger and lighter and smaller and darker.